today we're doing a procedure on a dog called Storm, who's a 13 year old beautiful mixed breed dog, who has a liver tumour that has been removed about three years ago and it's grown back now. He's a well dog but this tumour is incredibly massive in his abdomen and can't be removed surgically. So today with the help of David Benz, who's an um, in interventional radiology specialist in the human field and does this daily, routinely for, for people, he's going to uh, join us and probably uh, lead the way. So this is exciting stuff for us and we're just having a look at the CT scan now. I don't know if you can give us a little spiel about the yeah, procedure. Definitely. That all on the left side here is all tumour. So you see it's almost half part of the liver which is just tumour. And that's the area we try and target today and treat uh, through a minimal invasive approach. So what that means is we, we make a little, um, it, we don't even actually cut down at all, we just go through the artery and the groin and uh, all of this is done without opening the, the patient at all. So hopefully all going well, our little friend's up on his feet, you know, a few hours after the procedure and, and home. So that's the, the real beauty of this, that the chemotherapy that we deliver doesn't target other organs in the body, so there's no side effects from the chemotherapy. And then we inject a like a fatty substance and that slows down the blood flow to, to sort of hold all the, the chemotherapy into the tumour. And I don't know whether we'll cause blood stasis or stopping, but we might come back and do that at another procedure. But David will guide us as we go through as to what we do. Yeah, absolutely. Main goal is to give as much chemotherapeutics to this big tumour and hopefully with this shrink it and keep it under control um, and yeah that's what we call the taste in the end transarterial chemoembolization what we've done is gone through his groin up his aorta and this is the tip of our catheter and we're injecting a dye and you can see it highlighting all the different vessels of the liver and this area here has got a large uptake of um, contrast because it's all tumour so the tumours like, um, like blood basically and they have their own blood vessel system so our aim is to take as much of that tumour blush out of the way with using our, um, our sort of concoction so if I go down and show you these little clips here are from the previous surgery three years ago when he actually had the initial tumour out. So this is a regrowth and that little catheter there gets a super selective access to the artery only feeding the tumour and so all other arteries in the body aren't affected. So we're just in recovery now with Storm after a two and a half hour procedure. We're just getting him set up. There you go baby. Nice pillow under his head. So all we've got from this procedure is a little bandage here. The access to our um, procedure all went through one little artery here and we're able to, inside his body but under continuous x-ray, take out the tumour which means take out the blood supply to the tumour. So the tumour's got a whole lot of chemotherapy delivered directly to it and then lipidol kind of traps it in there so it's all sluggish flow and the, the, the um, chemo stays where it is. So we're very pleased with how it went. Uh, we're just going to wake him up really slowly. Make sure he's comfortable. Um, he looks pretty comfy to me, so we're very happy. And um, the team here, Kirsty and Kate, just did a phenomenal job helping out. So, anesthesia-wise, nursing-wise, and procedure-wise, it was it was excellent.